Now let's see how we can create and combine two reducers to add more functionalities in our app. Let's create one simple reducer for authentication. If user is logged in, then he can use this counter as he cannot. First create initial state for this reducer. Here we will need one boolean state is logged in to check whether user is logged in or not. And the second is a message which shows a user is not logged in. Pass this state and action to our new reducer. Now if action.type is equals login, then we will change is logged in state to true and we will also change the message. Let's do the opposite for the logout. Now to use this reducer, first remove this export keyword. Here we will use a combined reducer function where we can pass as many reducers we want as an object. Now we only have to export this reducer. Let's change this counter reducer to our combined reducer. Let's just log the state using a store.get state. Now as you can see here, there are two reducers in the state object and each of them contains states that we have passed on. So we have to make some changes here. Rather than state.counter, write state.counterreducer.counter. Now as you can see here, it is working. Let's add two more actions for login and logout. Here we don't need a payload, just uh, change its types. Let's add login and login message states here. Login and message states come from a login reducer. Also, we have to add two methods for login and logout.
make sure you have imported all the actions let's check if login state is there or not I think there is a conflict we have a two same names so let's change it just change login to login function Right now we can't see the login state because it's boolean value. So instead let's see login message state. Just copy all this. Now first we will check if login state is true or not. If login state is true, then we will add button for a logout, else we will show button for login. Now on the onclick method, add logout function. Print login message here. and it's working fine now we will only show counter when user is logged in copy this code and write if login is true then show the counter else show a message like uh, please login to use the counter Now it's working great. Right now counter value is 5 and when I log out and log in again, counter value does not change because it is managed by the other reducer. Also, as you can see in this uh, debugging tool, everything is working just fine. Now for this reducers, there is another way than writing this if else conditions. We can use a switch statement. Let's do it. Write action dot type here. And as a case, you can use action dot type values. For each case, return their updated states. And for the default case, return state. Don't forget to write this default case. And it's working just fine.
Now pause the video and do the same for the other reducer. That's it for this video. Until now, to use Redux, we have written lots of code. To avoid writing this much code, for a large application, we need to use Redux toolkit, which we will use in the next video. So stay tuned.